guys, welcome back. If you can't really tell, I've done my full face of makeup except for my cheeks. So the two products that I want to talk about today is the, this is the Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder. And I have this in the shade Mirage Filter number 40. It has the yellow powder and a lighter, cooler tone contour powder. So I want to compare this to my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. And it looks like that. So right off the bat, these two are obviously both high-end contour products. Both of these you can get on Sephora.com. The Kevin Aquan retails for $44 and it has 0.11 ounce of product in this little thing. And the Marc Jacobs retails for $49, so $5 more, but you get two pans of 0.31 ounce of product each. Even though it's $5 more, it's six times more product than this little thing just to give you a little bit perspective. You would have seen this first if you saw my haul way back when, probably like a couple months ago. This is the first product I picked up between the two because at the time, contouring was all the rage. Still right now, it's all the rage. But I've been eyeing this product for a long time and I was like, maybe it's time to actually pick it up. And back then, I was having a sale and I really like it. But I just can't seem to justify the price for this. So then I went ahead and picked this one up because I thought it was cheaper. Well, it's not cheaper, like it's not cheaper by absolute means, but it's better value, right? So I thought this might be a similar enough product and has two colors, so I can use the yellow side to set under my eyes, which I actually used to set my own eyes today, and this contour side to contour. I really did end up liking this. And the two products, in my opinion, are different enough. I feel like now I'm stuck with both of them. But we'll get to more of that in this video, and I'll have one side of it applied with the Kevin Quant and one side of it applied with the Marc Jacobs, and walk through the application of both. So, let's get started. So here's a closer look at the Kevin Quant powder. I have to say both of these powders are super, super powdery and pigmented, and a little bit definitely goes a long, long way. Both of these powders. And I'm going to use this one first on the left side of my cheek. I've already done my foundation, concealer, everything, and I set my entire face with the powder, so everything should go on super smoothly. So we'll just test this out. And I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush. I'm taking a little bit, as you can, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's extremely powdery. So I tap off a lot, a lot of it because it's really, really pigmented. Making a line from my ear, the top of my ear, to the corner of my mouth here and just feel that cheekbone where that is and contour right underneath it. You can see a little bit of my natural contour, I think, so I'm just going to follow that line. I stop right where my eyebrows end or begin, whatever, however you want to look at it. So that's how much I like to put on and then just kind of blend up. You see how cool toned that is? That's very cool toned. So on the right side of my cheeks, I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Instamark filter. Okay, same, I'm gonna take the same brush, I already cleaned off the excess, and then tap off because it's really powdery as well. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just like a lot of product with just a little dip. And same thing, I find the hollows of my cheek here and just go in. So I think that looks much more natural than the Kevin Aquan. Because you can see the Kevin Kwan's is really cool, really cool toned. And the Marc Jacobs is a little bit warmer, but it's still on the cool side. This is the Marc Jacobs. And this is the Kevin Kwan. I will swatch them on my hand as well, so you can have a better look. 
So here are the powders side by side. This is the Marc Jacobs powder and this is the Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder. Obviously I haven't blended them out evenly yet and I will go back in and blend them out with a bronzer. But you know what I mean by the Kevin O'Quan just looks a little bit more muddy, a little bit too cool on my skin tone. Whereas the Marc Jacobs, while it's a little bit warmer, it looks more natural. Let me go ahead and finish my makeup. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my makeup. As you can see, I don't know if you can see on camera, but I think... I think after blending and everything, the two products look similar enough that I won't look crazy for the rest of today. But I just think the Marc Jacobs one is a little bit better. So I went ahead and applied a little bit of bronzer, blush, and have highlight. And I actually cleaned up my contour slash bronzer with a yellow powder. And yeah, I used the yellow powder in the Marc Jacobs pan. So I can set my under eyes with this yellow powder and clean up or bake, highlight under my contour with the same palette. So I just feel like this one is a little bit more worth your money, even though it's $5 more, but you get six times more the product. And I feel like on my skin tone, honestly, it works better. I just feel like the Kevin O'Quan one is a little bit too cool. I was on the hunt for like the coolest bronzer, the coolest sculpting, coolest contour you can ever find, but I just feel like the coolest might not be the best, you know what I mean? So yeah. I don't know, what do you think? So that's it for the short video. Let me know if you tried either of the products down below or if you tried both and which one you like better. Let me know which one you like on me better or if you can even tell a difference after it's all blended out. Thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe for more videos from me. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like always freaking out in these videos. I got a Formula X nail polish. I've actually never tried any of these nail polishes. I feel like I get them anyway, just because I like how like crazy they are. So the H&M at 42nd Street and 5th Avenue is having a 30% off sale.